Okay, today's gun review or video is gonna be on the weapon, the uh, PSW or PWS Diablo submachine gun. And this weapon is, uh, this is actually my new favorite weapon. I've used it with every attachment, and so far it seems like the red dot sight's the best. And it is, it's a pretty small gun. It is long range. It's pretty powerful. It has a really high fire rate and it's extremely accurate and pretty much this gun pretty much just shows how how modern this game is and how modern the guns are by how amazing amazing this weapon is I prefer it a lot I've gotten probably one of my best gameplays on here I know it's not that good but it's the best for me it's a slow start I was actually thinking in the game to myself while I was playing it that I was I knew it was going to be a slow start because that's how all my games are so far on this game but this game it or not this game this gun this gun is just the best it's like if i had to compare it to a gun it would be like the the mp5 from call of duty 4 with pretty much no recoil and a little bit higher fire rate it loses sometimes in close range situations like it did right there just because it probably lost there just because i'm not that good at the game but there are points in this game where i can actually hold off their whole team. I hold off their whole team at two different times in this game just because how powerful this weapon can be at short to mid range. Long range it's good if you use the burst like if you just click it and just burst it's really good but when it comes to short range this gun dominates I'd say as long as you have the aiming advantage because it's not as strong as some other ones but it does have a really high fire rate so far, the attachments I'd prefer for this gun are either the, I think the MK1 Holoscope, the MK2 Red Dot Sight, or the Silencer. So far, those seem to be the best silencers, of course, just because it blocks you from the UAV when you shoot so you can sneak up behind their team. And since this gun, the Suppressor Silencer, doesn't change the gun at all, really, it doesn't really change the range or the damage it does. So. If you use the silencer, it's extremely good to use if you're in a, if you're one of those people who like to flank. But I don't I don't like the iron sight on this gun. I don't think they I don't think the iron sight on this gun's any good at all. So that's why I use the red dot sight, which that that seems to handle itself pretty well. You don't really need a silencer on this gun. You kind of want it to not have a silencer. You want to draw people to you when you use this gun because like when I go here you'll see these guys are just extremely bad I guess but when I go up here you can see how dominating this weapon is but you also see how bad I am at trying to kill these people and you guys have to remember that this is PC I also changed the field of view for you guys just so it seems more like console but just so you know it still is PC and I kill every single one of these guys see so look at that <laughs> That's just that's just a bad player, not a bad gun. But I will be getting Homefront probably pretty soon for the console. I'm gonna try to save up and get it for the console because some of you guys requested it, and I don't know. I just want to see how differently it's played from both systems, from going from PC to a console, Xbox 360. Just to let you know, not PS3. I don't know if it's out for PS3, but yeah. This gun, it seems like probably the best things to use with it. I didn't put on my second buyout, my special I wanted to buy, but the white phosphorus is probably one of the best ones to buy, and the proximity launcher, I'd say, because this thing runs out of ammo extremely fast. So if you don't have, um, if you don't have grave robber, and you don't run over their bodies to get more ammo, then you'd want to have some kind of third weapon other than your pistol so I'd prefer to use proximity launcher but perks I I roll with I'm trying to think of what perks I use I know I use steady aim uh, I, I use sleight of hand oh yeah I use steady aim sleight of hand and maybe ghost I'm not really sure but I know I don't use grave robber so you can see in, in some points in this video I think I run out of ammo and then for I'm trying to think here 
So for maps, I would say the best maps to use is, of course, my favorite map, Cul-de-Sac. Um, not Angel Island, that's too big of a map. There would be whatever this map is. It says White Castle, so I'm just going to call it White Castle. It's probably Little Lands or something. I'm not really, I don't know. I still am not familiar with all the names of the maps. So I'm just going to kind of take out, go on a limb. Since most of you guys know if you play this game what the White Castle map is, since it shows it on the loading screen, this this is probably going to be the best map for it because it's the most suburban industrial type place so it's easy to maneuver around the buildings and do have a lot of cover you pretty much have a place to hide and cover over 80 percent of the time if you need it which with this gun i'd say you do because a lot of guns do have other advantages over this gun this gun's mainly range i'd say this gun's good with range it can handle range but there are guns actually meant for range and this is still a submachine gun so you have to think that there are assault rifles and snipers that are meant and when you have this gun it always it pretty much on this map i'd say it wins over a sniper rifle just because there aren't as many good sniping spots on this map there are some good buildings you can hide up on top of but otherwise that you can sneak on those and kill them like i showed you earlier but there soon uh, coming up on this map i'm gonna show you how dominant this weapon can be when you have when you have the cover, when you have the advantage of cover, it's pretty ridiculous. I'm pretty sure I held off. I'm pretty sure I held off their whole team that was over here. But. Yeah, the. The game types I choose for this weapon, my preferred game types with this weapon, because I've used it for a couple games, would be probably TDM or Ground Commander or whatever it's called. Uh, but most likely team deathmatch because the spawns don't switch as much uh, but it's not that it's that when you play play team deathmatch you don't get marked as a target so if you go on a kill streak go on like let's say a five kill streak at the least they're not gonna mark you as a target you don't get those stars above your head so that they don't know your area even though most of the team will know where you are if you're going on one of those big kill streaks and they're trying to kill you like here but when you have it's better to not have those markers because then they'll show you the like exact position of the building you are and without that you are still a little more secret you're a little more covered and it's just better and so far you can see here that gun does run out of ammo I had to switch here and that's where I died <laughs> flying back got some cool ragdoll but my next gun review is I don't know, you guys tell me. Uh, it's probably going to be on the M1010, if that's what it's called. I'm not sure. It's the first sniper rifle, though. And that's the one with pretty much the ACOG scope. And it has a higher fire rate than the other one because it's not bolt action. It's a semi auto. So my next one's either going to be on that. Or I was trying to get the express shotgun for you guys, but I can't get that one. So I'm probably going to do the M snipe, M1010 sniper or whatever. And then I'm going to see whatever is left that I haven't done. And then I think I'm going to actually go for just good gameplays. And hopefully you guys will have some videos to send in since you guys are Homefront fans. Maybe you guys, if, if you guys have any videos to send in, just upload the video to YouTube as unlisted. Send me the link and I'll watch it. And if I like it, I'll download it and upload it for you guys and I'll put your link in the video but that is the end of the review see you guys later